Number 33. Calculate the mole fraction of each solute and solvent. And then we have letter B. So in this case, we have 125 grams of NH4NO3 in 275 grams of water, a mixture used to make an instant ice pack. Cool. But anyway, in this question, we just have to find the mole fraction. Now, they did specifically say that we have to find it for each the solute and the solvent. There's only two compounds that I see here, right? I see NH4NO3, and then I see water, which is H2O. Now, just know that if you're trying to figure out a solute and a solvent, um, the solute, the smaller guy, is always going to be dunked into the solvent. And the solvent is the liquid media. So in this case, if we have 125 grams of this NH4NO3 dunked in water, water is the liquid media, that means that the water has to be the solvent and the NH4NO3 has to be the solute. But in general for this, we're just going to find the mole fraction for both compounds. But it's good practice to be, uh, be able to identify your solute and your solvents. And just know that if you have a solute and a solvent together in one mixture, you make a happy solution. So those are your three S's. But anyway, what's a mole fraction? The formula is this. A mole fraction is represented by letter capital X. How unique. So a mole fraction of any compound now notice you can't put two compounds together if you're trying to find a fraction, right? So in this case, since they're asking for both NH4NO3 and the water, we have to do this formula twice. But just like any fraction, a fraction is always just a part divided by a whole. Now in this case, it's the moles of the certain compound divided by the total moles. But mole, mole, mole. Gram, gram, yikes. In order to use this formula, we need to find out the moles. But they didn't give it to us, right? They gave us grams. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go from 125 grams of NH4, NO3, to the moles of NH4, NO3, then we got to do the same thing for the water, right? 275 grams of H2O. Let's go to moles of H2O. Okay. Let me just maybe put this up a little bit higher. Okay. So grams to moles. Back to basics. Never going to lose it, right? If we have a gram of a certain substance and we want to go to a mole of a certain substance, which is what we want to do here, all you got to do is just divide by the molar mass, which is found on the periodic table. So in this case, I have to find out the molar mass of NH4NO3. Now, I'm going to group together the two nitrogens that we have. So two times on the periodic table, it's 14.01. Plus, I got four hydrogens. Each hydrogen on my periodic table is exactly 1.008. And then I'm going to add the three oxygens, which is a 16. Exactly. So two times 14.01 plus four times 1.008 plus three times 16. Kalki understands what operations to do first. And I'm just making sure that my numbers look good. Everything looks good here. And that's my molar mass. So I'm going to just take that number and divide by 80.052. So 125 divided by that number. Graph. Oh my goodness. 125 divided by this number. And we get 1.5. Six, I guess, 1.5615. Try not to round as much as you can because this is not the final answer. We have to do the same for the water. So I have two hydrogens. Each hydrogen on my periodic table is 1.008 plus one oxygen, which is 16. So two times 1.008 
plus 16. I get an 18. And maybe I'll bring this down a little bit. There we go. Divide by 18.016. So 275 divided by that number, we get 15.264. 2642? Sure. Okay, so now we just found out the individual moles of the specific components, right? Or the compounds. So let's see if we could start putting up a mole fraction equation. So I have my x value, my mole fraction for the NH4. NO3, and then I'm going to have my uh, x value, my mole fraction of the H2O. This is going to equal, obviously, a fraction. And moles of the compound. The compound goes on the numerator, compound with compound. So in this case, we have, for the NH4 NO3, we just found out that we had uh, 1.5615 moles of the NH4 NO3, and for the water, it's 15 0.2642. But now, total moles, I don't have that, but maybe we could find it out. These are all the moles that are in the solution, right? So how would I find the total? Yeah, you got it. You just add them together. So we're going to do 1.5615 plus 15.2642. Looks good to me. We got 16.8 Two five seven total moles in the whole entire solution, and that's the number that goes in the new in the denominator for both of these. Sixteen point eight two five seven. Okay, we are ready to calculate. So let's just um, maybe I'll set it up first. We got H two O's value, and then we have the NH4 NO3. Okay, so um, 1.5615 divided by that number. We get 0. Point, whoop, let's do it in this color. 0. 0.09 I guess three sig figs. So 0. 0.0928 and then 15.26 Four two divided by trace. <laughs> I'm getting too too calky happy. Okay. Wait a minute. What just happened here? Let's do it again. Fifteen point two six four two divided by that number up top here. There we go. Three sig figs. Uh, point nine oh seven, roughly around, and. Mole fractions have no units, so here we go, 0 0.907 and 0 0.0928. I mean, you could always think of these numbers in terms of a percentage. If you times these numbers by 100, it will tell you the total percentage of each component, because that's all that a fraction is, it's just part over whole, you know, without the times 100. Now, just know that if we did this correct, the two answers that we got, right, if you add up all your mole fractions, what number do you think you should get? Yeah, you should get one. Um, so because if you add up all your fractions, the whole piece of the pie, right, one whole pizza pie. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, these videos are just for you guys to get you through your AP Chem class general chem class, right? College chem, high school chem. Um, we're here for you guys. We got math videos, we got physics videos. So hopefully these are helping you out. Let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for being part of the community and I will talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.